Hello, fine people of YouTube. I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney and we're answering uh, user-generated questions here on YouTube uh, today. And our first question is from Blinks77. Blinks asks, does an adverse action have to occur during or right after FMLA? So Family Medical Leave Act time. Can retaliation occur a few months after returning? Now, what I'll say to you is this. Absolutely, it can recur, it can occur after. The biggest question is always going to be, can you show that it was related, right? It's, it's certainly possible for FMLA retaliation to happen five years after you took FMLA, right? You could just have someone biding their time. That happens, people are insane. But, but it does become a little bit more difficult to prove it, right? If something happens to you right after you take FMLA, there is going to be a presumption that that adverse employment action may have taken place because you took FMLA. If it's four or five years later, you're going to need some evidence, you're gonna need some proof to kind of bring it all together. You're gonna to need to be able to demonstrate to a court or a jury or an investigator or a mediator or an arbitrator. You're gonna to need to demonstrate, hey, this is why I believe these bad acts were, were motivated by the FMLA I took. But there's no question. You don't, you don't need that temporal nexus. It doesn't have to be close in time. It's easier, it's better, it's safer, it's more valuable, it's lower risk. But all of those things can be overcome. Don't get too down on the date, how long it took for them to retaliate, okay? I hope that I'm not moving this phone around too much. I hope this was helpful. And uh, like and subscribe if it was, helps me to help more people just like you.